So you want to start by measuring from the base of your neck down to your ankles. In my case, that's 52 inches. Hey, I'm not short, I'm fun size. And then you want to add 7 inches, so in my case that will bring me to 59 inches. And so then you want to cut a semicircle of blue crushed velvet material, and you want the center of that to be whatever that measurement is, plus the 7 inches that you just did, so in my case the 59 inches. And then you want the flat edge of your semicircle to be double that, so in my case it's 118 inches along the flat edge. And then you want to cut along the flat edge, you want to cut around something like a plate that's 7 inches wide, that's going to be the neck hole. And then you'll just take your scissors and cut off the little triangles, even it out. So then for the hood, you want to cut yourself a rectangle that's a foot and a half wide and double that in length. You want to fold it in half with the right sides together. And you want to cut it the side that's opposite the fold. You want it to swing out just a little bit on the one edge, not perfectly straight. And then you're just going to sew along the bottom edge. Leave the rest of it open and just sew the two pieces of the bottom edge together. So here it is once it's all sewn together. And then you can just flip that open. And then you've got yourself your hood for your cloak. So going back to the actual cloak, the seam line where you sewed the two edges of the hood together, that's going to go right in the middle. And then you're just going to lay it with velvet side against velvet side around that neck hole. You can see it like that. And then you're just going to sew the two pieces together right around the neck hole. So here it is once it's sewn. You'll have to put in some gathers because the hood will be wider than the neck hole, but that's what you want because it makes the appropriate hood shape with the gathers. So then get yourself some fake fur. I've got kind of a leopard or cheetah print going on here. And then you're going to cut it into some strips. You want each strip to be about uh, five to seven inches wide. You don't have to be exact. And then you're just going to sew it along all the edges of your cape. You want to leave just a little bit of blue at the bottom. And if your pieces, if you run out of a piece, just sew two pieces together and it's furry enough that you can barely even tell where the connecting seam line is on the outside and then you'll just sew it all as if it were one piece. So here it is once I've got my fur sewn on, and again you want the fur to face the crushed velvet so that when you roll it over you'll just fold it in half and tuck the other side under on the inside. So over on the inside just take a little hot glue and you'll just fold that over. You'll do that all the way around the inside, just folding the fur in half and gluing the ends of it to the inside of the cape. And that'll give you your nice several inches of fur all around the bottom. So then up at the neck, I put a hook and loop closure. I sewed those on. You can barely see them in all the fur, but um, the hook will just hook into the loop and it's a little bit difficult to get fastened because the fur is so thick they kind of get lost in the fur and don't fasten that well but once you get them together you have your nice little hood so here is the cape with the hood down let me get the hair out of the way so you can see the hood see the hood on the back side there and then here it is with the hood up so here it is from the front and then from the back I don't know if you can see the bottom, it's a little low there. You see the fur goes all the way around the bottom and the front, basically all the open edges. I've killed things from other worlds before.